Hey everyone, this is Eric Hicks here in Toronto, Ontario with a really easy to do at home ab workout to really sculpt your abs. And all you need is a simple floor mat to cushion your body against the floor. This progressively challenging at home ab workout contains two different workouts. A total of five exercises that will be performed as a superset with a slight break after the end of the five exercises and it will be repeated for a total of four times. Now what I suggest is if you're just starting out or you haven't done a lot of ab exercises in the past is to start out with a lower rep number. So maybe start off with something simple like eight reps per exercise in each superset and then as you work your way through the next couple months you can maybe work your way up to about 20-25 reps per set. I'm going to go through the first set of exercises just with one rep per exercise, just so you get a general idea of what everything should look like. So what you need to do first of all, is lay down on the floor, spread out your arms, and lift your legs up. Now what I want you to do is to push your heels to the ceiling, and pull your toes towards your face. Down into 45, pull up with your abs, keep your heels pointed out at all times. The second exercise is the basic crunch, which I'm sure you all know of. So I just want you to put your hands behind your head, pull up, go up as high as you can, and come down. So when you come down, I want you to lengthen your abs as much as you possibly can, and then crunch, release slowly, fast up, and just add down. Place your hands underneath your buttocks. What I'm gonna get you to do is to bend your knees, just so it's easier to lift up your legs without straining your back. Lift your legs up in the air, drop them down, keeping them straight, and as you lift up fast, I want you to contract your lower abs and try and touch the ceiling with your feet. So we're going to contract the lower abs and try and touch the ceiling with your feet. We're going to come down nice and slow and up fast. So let's lift tempo, we're going to try and keep with all these exercises. Up fast, down nice and slow. Up fast down nice and slow. For the fourth exercise, what we're going to do is just a simple bicycle pattern which I'm sure you've all seen before. Your legs are going to move in a cycling pattern. Once again, I want you to push your heels away from you. So go in a cycling pattern with your legs and I want you to alternate cross. So what your upper body is going to do is cross over direction side to side. And we're going to do the same. What I want you to do with this exercise is to touch your left wrist to your right knee and vice versa. So what I'm going to do it right here. I'm going to come and keep your legs in a bicycle motion the whole time. And that's simply that exercise. For the last exercise in this first super set, what we're going to do is we're going to immediately switch over to a plank. And what I want you to do Instead of holding a normal plank, I want you to contract your abs and thrust your butt up in the air. Come down nice and slow, and up that way. Come down nice and slow, and then up that way. So I'm going to go through the first five exercises all as a superset with regular tempo. I'm only going to do five reps of each exercise. But typically you can challenge yourself with however many reps you like. I would suggest 8 to 10 to start off and move up to about 20 to 25 after the first few months with whatever you're comfortable with. pointed out at all times here. Nice and slow control down and a fast up. And we immediately move into the crunch. Fast up, nice and controlled down. When you come down, I want you to elongate your abs and then really tighten them up as you come up. Then we move directly into the leg raise. So I want you to drop your legs down nice and slow, pull up and try and touch the seat.
forget to keep a regular breathing pattern as you're doing these workouts. It takes a lot of the stress off of your body. And then right away we want to move into the cycle. And immediately into the plank. So now after the first set, what we do is we just take a little bit of a break and whenever you're feeling a little bit rested and want to do that whole set again for a total of four complete supersets. For the second set exercise, which we'll perform on a completely separate day, we're going to perform five exercises as well, all completed as a superset. The similar number of reps that we did in the previous exercises as well. So for the next set of exercise, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do a rep of each of the five exercises that will make the complete superset. For the first exercise, what we're going to do is put your hands underneath your buttocks again, raise your legs up to the ceiling. What we're going to do is just do a simple leg drop, where we're not going to try and use momentum. We want to have a nice slow control down and a fast up. Slow down, fast up. Slow down, fast up. You want to keep that same tempo throughout the whole workout. For the next exercise, we're going to extend our body fully straight. Reach your hands out away from your body, your legs and heels pointing out as far as you can from your body as well. What we're going to do is as you pull your knees up into your chest, I want you to pull your hands to try and touch your heels. And we're going to extend out nice and slow, fast up. For the third exercise, we're going to go directly up into the toe touch. So what I want you to do Raise your legs up into the air again, point your heels towards the ceiling, but this time what I want you to do is to lengthen your abdominals when you're in the down position. And as you try and touch your toes, really contract your abdominals and really shorten those muscles. So you're going to come up fast, down slow, really lengthen up, and then really tighten up. So you want to lengthen and shorten. After this, we're going to do a simple jogging exercise. So as one heel pushes out, the other knee tucks into the chest, and we're just going to exchange that. Very similar, although as opposed to having your hands behind your head, we're going to use our arms in a running motion. So as my right knee comes up, my left hand comes up, and we're going to run and alternate movements. Try and keep your abdominals tight as much as you can the entire time. Keep your upper body, your shoulders off of the ground the entire time, and just really focus on your abdominals really tight on the Directly into the normal plank without the contraction of the abdominal to raise the legs. So there's no rep count for this exercise, just simply a time count. I usually do this exercise until failure or until you feel you've had enough. So for the second set of exercises, there are still five exercises all superseted together with a short break in between for a total of four sets. You want to keep the same tempo as before, slow down, fast up. And when we're talking about slow down and fast up, when I say down, I want you to really lengthen your abdominals. And when I say fast up, I want you to really contract them and take them up. So let's just go right ahead and do these five exercises in succession. I'm going to start off with the leg drops. body extension.
so the entire time you're performing these exercises, I want you to really make sure that you're breathing properly as well. Don't hold your breath, that places a lot of pressure on the inside of the structures. So you really want to continue to have that proper breathing, really deep in, push up. So as you contract your abs, breathe out. As you lengthen your abs, breathe in. Take nice deep breaths, keep the pressure off your inner body, and keep it on the muscles.